Well, hello, hello, and welcome. I'm AJ O'Neill, and I want to tell you a little bit about this module at Roof Path. So hopefully it's pretty self-evident what it is. It's a clone of the native, well, it's not a clone, it's a wrapper around the native node path, except that it will throw exceptions when the result of joining, resolving, or relativing a path leads to something that is outside of the base path. So base path being the first argument here is the base path. If the base path plus the additional paths, because both join and resolve allow additional paths, ends up in a dot dot, it basically, it doesn't check dot dot, it checks what it actually resolves to. And I did that because I had a discussion with someone that had some concerns about the dot dot not working or certain special characters having special meaning on certain file systems and that just checking for a dot dot slash in uh, the, the file name is not good enough. So it checks what it actually resolves and that the prefix of the, of the result of, so if you take path.resolve of foo, and then you take path.resolve of path.join foo and bar or whatever, if the prefix plus a slash so that it doesn't match a similar file, so say you have a folder foo and a folder foo bar, you wouldn't want the prefix that matches foo to match foo bar. So it has an extra slash in there, but basically it it just makes sure that the prefixes, when they are joined and resolved, match, and then it hands you back whatever the result was if it doesn't throw an error. So it doesn't give you the result of the resolve unless you're actually calling resolve, but it gives you the result of the join or the relative or whatever it was um, as it was given back. But it just throws an error if there's any security concern there. Also, as a convenience, there is a path.unsafe.join, which will allow you to get the unsafe version, this was not thrown error. In fact, uh, path.unsafe equals require path. So there's, it is, it is literally just an alias, another way of referencing path so that you don't have to have two path variables like call one unsafe path and the other path or whatever. You just have one that you can deal with. And then also it's provided with uh, promises, not because it's async, because it's not async, not not in this current form, although there may be a V2 that uses fs.realpath. That's one caveat that I mentioned right here, which I'll, I'll just mention real quick. So this does not check what the sim links, if any, resolve to. It checks what the string path resolves to. So this is all happening synchronous anyway. But I added the promises bit because sometimes it's just nicer to do a dot catch than it is to do a try catch. And so if you require the promises, you can still get the unsafe um, and you can get the regular, but they're all promisified so that you can use dot catch when you want to. So um, other than that, like I said, there's only kind of three things here, path.join, path.resolve, path.relative that are special, and you get just a bunch of examples of what this looks like and what will uh, succeed and what will throw, what's good, what's bad. And then just for fun, you've got links to the node documentation for all of these same things down here, uh, just because all of them are on the path object because they're copied over for convenience. But the only ones that are changed are join, relative, and resolve as stated previously. And uh, I don't, I don't think there's anything else that we need to concern ourselves with at the present time. So happy safe pathing. Oh, I was going to mention there are tests. So there are tests and the test tests a lot of the things that are in the uh, readme. So what you see right here is I just have a little bit of helper function um, that if there was not an error, so reject means if there was not an error, then throw an error. So it's expecting an error. If it gets an error, then it passes. If it doesn't get an error, then it fails. Uh, this pass 
is just to pass through. It should have maybe even been called through instead of pass, but just so that you can catch, the error can be caught, and then this is just a pattern for ensuring that there's an error, because you want to catch the error, you want to pass the error through, and then if the type of value that you get is not an error value, then you want to throw again. So it's just kind of a, a way to ensure. And then all of this is being done with the um, the try catch bit, just because it's easier to write this code. It looks nicer. Uh, so it's the it's the same the promises code and the other code, same code. Just I don't have to have a bunch of try catch try catch try catch try catch. I just get to have dot catch dot then. And I get to put the conditions as a function rather than putting them in try catch box. So that's it. And then uh, a, a live means that it should not get an error. It should. So if I was going to rename these, I would call this through, I'd call this reject, and I'd call this resolve probably. Um, but anyway. Uh, yeah, so we just have all these different cases here of different ways of doing things with different numbers of dots and stuff like that. And if it gets all the way to the end and everything that was expected to throw an error throws an error and everything that was expected to succeed succeeds, then the test pass. So very simple test scenario, very easy if you wanted to uh, come in and add a test that you felt was, mi was missing, although I think that I got all of the permutations that are uh, important and even somewhat redundant in the way that I'm doing the permutations. But yeah, so the tests are there. And if I come out with a V2 of this, which uh, comment if you believe that that would be really useful, what I would do is the V2 would be promises only and it would use fs.realpath to resolve both the base path and the result path to make sure that their prefixes uh, do not have some sort of symlink misdirection that they end up in the same hierarchy, even following symlinks. That's the one thing that I think could be improved upon this, um, but is kind of more of a niche case. I'm not sure how much it would be necessary. So again, comment if that is something that you would like. And with that all said, thanks for watching. Go ahead and give a like if this was useful for you. If you want to watch my other videos, check down in the doobly-doo. There are links to the live channel, the Beyond Code channel, and my Morning Shower Thoughts channel, which is just life stuff. And uh, hit me up with any questions or comments that you have, and I'll catch you later. Adios.